Now let us look at the set of relations which are reflexive and irreflexive and the number of those relations. So assume this is a set of reflexive relations, this is a set of reflexive relations and this is a set of irreflexive relations. This is a set of irreflexive relations. Now we know what is a refle reflexive relation in case of reflexive relations in case of reflexive relations we should have the pair x r x for all x belong to the set a right and for a relation to be irreflexive for a relation to be irreflexive then this x should not be related to x for any x belonging to the set a or you can say for all x belonging to the set a now in this scenario you can clearly see that uh, these two sets are these two sets are having nothing in common. For example, if the set A is having 1, 2, 3 and you know what is A cross A. So A cross A is going to have 1, 1, 1, 2 or you can say let us make it right in another way 2, 2, 3, 3 and 1, 2, 1, 3 and 2, 1 and 2, 3 and 3, 1 and 3, 2 and 3 comma 3 so how many elements are there this is 3 and 3 and 3 I think I've written something twice so right so 3 comma 3 fine so assume this is the set which is a cross a for a relation to be reflexive for a relation to be reflexive if a relation has to be reflexive then this these ordered pair should be there these ordered pair should be there should be there and it is it is it is mandatory it is mandatory for relation to be reflexive these ordered pair should be there and it is mandatory and for a relation to be irreflexive for a relation to be irreflexive any of these pair cannot come they cannot come and it is mandatory and it is mandatory right so you can clearly see that in case of reflexive relations if it is necessary that for these elements we have only one choice for these elements we have only one choice right and how many elements are there in total there are total n cross n for example 3 cross 3 here total 9 elements are there in this ordered pair and this n cross n is basically n square and if, if the cardinality of the set a if the cardinality of the set a is n then the cardinality of a cross a will be n square we already know this now how many elements will be there like this how many elements will be there these are total these are total n elements for example here in this case these are total three elements or you can say three ordered pair now for these three ordered pair if a relation has to be reflexive for these three ordered pair if the relation has to be reflexive in that case they should be there they should be there and it is mandatory so for these pairs we have only one choice now for the remaining pairs for the remaining pairs for this pair and this pair for this pair we have two choices they may be there it may be there or it may not be there or it may not be there it may be there or it may not be there again for this element we have two choices 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 and for this element we have two choices for all these elements we have two choices and for this element we have only one choice for if we see what are the number of flexible relations for all these elements we have two choices so it is 2 cross 2 cross 2 for this 2 for this 2 for this 2 for this so approximately how many choices are there 2 raised to power 6 in this case but if the number of elements are n then these elements will be approximately n square minus n because total number of elements are n and uh, these are the n uh, total number of elements are n so n a cross a is going to contain total n square elements and these are total n elements so these remaining elements these remaining elements are basically n square minus n for these n square minus n we have total 2 raised to power n square minus n choices for relation has to be reflexive we have already seen this right so for reflexive relations it is 1 into 2 raised to power n square minus n uh, different reflexive relations are possible different reflexive relations relations are possible different reflexive relations are possible
right in the same way if you look at the irreflexibilization for these elements we have only one choice that they should not be there any of these elements should not be there for these elements we have only one choice but for these elements we have a choice for if we check what are the number of irreflexibilization so total number of irreflexibilization will also be 2 raised to power n square minus n 2 raised to power n square minus n because only for these elements we have choice and for these elements we don't have any choice because in case of irreflexive it is mandatory that they should not be there in case of flexibility it is mandatory that they should be there for these elements in case of flexive only one choice for irreflexive ratios only one choice okay so these are the number of flexive and irreflexive ratios now let us look at the relations now we know the number of relations the number of relations number of relations which are which are neither reflexive neither reflexive neither reflexive nor irreflexive which are neither reflexive nor irreflexive how many relations are there which are neither reflexive nor irreflexive so for that we have to check what are the total number of relations which are possible so how many total number of relations possible 2 raised to power n square then how many number of relations which are reflexive so there are 2 raised to power n square minus n relations which are reflexive so we are subtracting for this so these are the number of relations which are reflexive these are the number of relations which are reflexive and also subtract the number of relations which are irreflexive also subtract the number of relations which are irreflexive so these are the number of relations which are irreflexive which are irreflexive and these are the total number of relations these are total number of relations okay you can clearly see what we are doing here so you can write it like this 2 raised to power n square minus 2 into 2 raised to power n square minus n or 2 raised to power n square minus 2 raised to power n square minus n plus 1 so these are the number of relations which are neither reflexive nor irreflexive neither reflexive nor irreflexive okay fine so now let us look at some of the relations which are uh, irreflexive 